And now we're looking of the landing of André Borschberg in a plane without a drop of fuel. The sun rose in Hawaii today, ushering in a new age in solar-powered flight. Five days, five nights. We're down. There you go. Great. A historic first for aviation. Flying without a drop of fuel, just the power of the sun, the Solar Impulse 2 was in the air for more than 117 hours, obliterating the record for longest solo flight without refueling. Nobody now can say that renewable energies cannot do the impossible. Swiss psychiatrist and adventurer Bertrand Picard started the project in 2003, proposing an adventure worthy of a Jules Verne novel to fly around the world using a marvel of technology, solar power. The result was the Solar Impulse 2, a lightweight plane covered with 17,000 solar cells. They power the electric motors and charge the batteries, which keeps the plane airborne at night. The flight began Monday in Japan. With only ocean beneath them, it was the longest and most dangerous part of a 13-leg journey around the world. Confined in a small space for five days, pilot Andre Borschberg took 20-minute naps and used yoga to stay alert. All worth it, he says, to demonstrate the potential of renewable energy. To fly with the sun, you need to be extremely energy efficient. And this efficiency can be used uh, everywhere. The project's ultimate goal is to inspire world leaders leading up to a UN summit on climate change in December. From Hawaii, it's off to Phoenix, New York, and then across the Atlantic, chasing the sun all the way to Abu Dhabi to complete a historic journey around the world. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.